much for coming back for another vidcast this month. I think you're going to really enjoy this one. I'm at the Festival of Quilts in England, and there's lots of great stuff going on here. You know, these people in Europe are pretty creative in their techniques, and I'm really looking forward to see what new techniques they're coming up with and using right now. So let's go take a look. My name's Ferret and this piece is called Heat. She's a dancer and she's most definitely on fire. Okay, I found another gallery space and this is with Susan Chapman and Terry Hitchcock and they have a unique concept of what they're doing here. What are you doing here, Susan? Well, I'm a quilter and Terry's an embroiderer and we came up with the idea of seeing what would happen if we took one design and both worked from it and saw what the result was. Um, and this is the exhibition. We both work with the human form and um, we decided to look at gesture and pose, which is what this exhibition is about. Oh. And Terry looked at dance and I looked at sport. Hi, my name's Ferret and this is my quilt Flying Feathers. It's a whole cloth done on my long arm. It's entirely freehand quilted and hand guided. I don't even have a stitch regulator on this machine. All the colour you see comes from the different threads used. The, fa the fabric itself is just plain white. Well, I found another gallery space, and this one is with Sandy Snowden, and you've got some neat techniques going on here. Well, it's basically twin needle cording, and it's just following the same instructions for doing twin needling, but you have a little cord that you thread up through the hole in your foot plate, and um, then you run it through as you're doing twin needling. Yeah, and you did use that also in your Bernina garment. By using the corded effect in something, it gives a similar strength to using boning. My name is Sally Holman and this is my joint exhibition with Janet Cook called Seasons and I'm standing in front of landscapes and seascapes of the North Norfolk coast in England. And these are some of my crazy quilts. Wow, I have stumbled on the work of Janet Cook and this is some really interesting work because it looks like there's dimension in the pieces, almost like you can walk into them. It's different types of silk, different types of cotton, using matte against shiny. But in these pieces but over here... in these here, pieces there is a considerable space. There's about half an inch between the two images. Right. One is on organza, right, and one is on cotton. I'm here with Joyce Watson. Joyce, why is this exhibit called Turning Point? 
Well, it's a group of 10 quilters uh, across central Scotland and it seemed to be a turning point in all our lives one way or the other. Uh -huh. The trees we based on a Celtic, there's a Celtic book over there which is a bit of the mythology of trees. Right. So we t tried to take as near to our own birth date because there's supposed to be a, a tree associated with each, t you know, each month. Right. Um, so we each got a separate tree and uh, that wasn't restricted by width but it was restricted by length. So all the trees are the same length and all different trees and treated in different ways. Herd mentality is a group of young male cows. One cow on his own, not terribly brave, but like teenagers, get a whole pack of them and they're aggressive. Hi, my name's Kim Titi Chai. I've written the book Hot Textiles. I'm showing people how to use the techniques in my book using an iron and a heat gun safely. One of the things I'm most excited about at the moment, because you can iron it very lightly between baking parchment, is cello foil. It gives you the same texture as Tyvek. It bubbles lightly under a light pressure with the iron and you get the most wonderful effects of it. My name is Bente Wold Clausen. I come from Norway and uh, I am one of the featured artists here at Festival of Quilts. My name is Maggie Davis. This morning I'm needle felting. But what you will do then to give it great character and depth is you can do a lot of machine work and embellishment and add French knots and beads to the stamens. Well, I had to come all the way to England to see Ricky here, and Ricky has this absolutely wonderful um, gallery space. Is this the coolest thing here? I'm very, very honored, very proud to have my quilts here at Festival of Quilts. Just seeing a lot of old friends, because you're in England a lot. I am, and we do have a lot of friends and here. Getting, and I haven't been here in a while, so I'm just running into all these incredible quilters that I haven't seen in a while. This is Faye Maxwell, and she has some really neat stuff going on here. Well, this is the latest book, Knots and Crosses. It's a slant-on cross-stitch, trying to loosen it up and to make it into an art form. Hi, I'm Angie Hughes, and um, I'm just going to talk about my new book that's coming out in October, and it's a mixed-media textiles uh, kind of um, a book We're using um, machine embroidery and uh, paint techniques and embellishments and all sorts of fun things. All right, quilts are not always flat. They're not always made of cotton. And this is Victoria Shepherd who is really doing quilts that are not flat and are not made of cotton. What's this made of, Victoria? Uh, this is leather. And uh, there's lots of other things like. Yeah, plastic. plastic. Yeah, but then you've got your traditional cottons and the silks yeah. as well, so anything goes really.
and what would a quilt show be without vendors? Oh my gosh, there's lots of great vendors here. And this is one of Europeans' vendors. Um, Steph Francis does the most amazing threads and lots of, lot of goodies. What do you have going on here, Steph? We have an awful lot. We've got threads, fibers, fabrics. Uh, we've got charms. We've got everything for the quilter. Wow, was that an amazing trip through the quilts at the Festival of Quilts here in Birmingham, England. I hope you've enjoyed it, and if you get a chance, you might want to come to the Festival of Quilts in Birmingham. And I do want to thank eQuilter for sponsoring this month's vidcast, and I hope you'll come back next month to see what I have for you then. Thanks for being with me.